ready to realign your mindset. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome on stage Mr. Scott Burroughs. on the positives, what you have going for you, it creates clarity. Now ask yourself this question. What kind of mindset do I need to be in today as a farmer, a producer, a retailer to go with what scares me? To drive results? That takes grit. But what is grit? Grit, my friends, is your passion to persevere. Grit is what keeps you on the sidelines and back in the game of life. I jumped into the passenger side of my buddy's car and off we went. And it wasn't long thereafter when it happened. My friend Ed was driving way too fast. He ran off the road and he crashed into a mound of sand, sending that car hurling into the air before tumbling back to earth in over end. And it was in that one defining moment that everything about my life would change. One of the first times that I came to, a few weeks later, Dr. Stringer walked into my room and he goes, Scott, I, I understand you've been complaining, you can't, you can't move anything, your arms, your legs, and he goes, and unfortunately you've broken your neck and you have a very serious spinal cord injury and it has left you paralyzed from your chest down. Diagnosed a quadriplegic. When I first started pushing a wheelchair, that's when one of my doctors, though, pulled me over. And he goes, Scott, look, you need to understand the seriousness of your spinal cord injury and come to realize that the movement that you're getting back in your arms is as good as it's going to get. What I heard was, you might as well go ahead right now and give up hope. Give up hope on the idea you ever come out of this chair. But the problem was, I bought into his words. Whether you're a parent, whether you're part of this family, or a 19-year-old quadriplegic, that no matter how difficult life is for you, in that moment, you can always change your way of thinking. And that's when I made the profound decision that I was willing to fail, but I was unwilling to quit. It's a mindset that can define you as an individual, as a team, as an industry leader. Don't ever let your competition or someone else's beliefs paralyze you from achieving those things you believe in your mind that you just might be able to achieve. Sometimes though, you know, and I get this, it's hard to stand back up again and again when you've been knocked down in your own health, in a relationship, by your competition. The next time you're knocked down, don't let your mindset become your biggest handicap. How? One way that I've learned is by asking better questions. You see, the martial arts teaches you never to lose the ability to play the part of being a student. Always ask. 
always seek. They encourage you to ask questions like, what don't I know? What am I missing? And what can I practice next? You quickly start learning that asking these what questions, it opens up your mind to seeing your challenges from an entirely different perspective. And that's when I came to realize that asking why me is not the question we should be asking ourselves in our lives out there in the marketplace. The questions we should consider asking are, what can I learn and what can I gain by embracing adversity and ongoing change as opposed to resisting it? And the next time you do just that, notice this. It keeps you moving forward into your future. I think you were the most powerful speaker I've ever seen. And I mean, I, I mean, I've seen a lot of speakers. You constantly showed the implementation of, of ways to continue to get into action. Your industry is changing. Your competition is changing. And your company is changing. And if you are unwilling to adapt today and be a little more flexible than ever before, catching up can be a long, difficult, and frustrating process. Look, we can't change the past, but you and I have today. And today we can choose how to respond to a life, a business environment, and a marketplace that simply refuses to stay the same. Change. Change begins by opening up your heart and your mind to new ideas and new ways of doing things. Hi, I'm Michelle Showalter with Kaiser Permanente. I'm so thrilled that we were able to find Scott. Today's event um, really uh, blew me away and was way more than I expected and I actually expected a great deal. And this was a team who needed to be inspired as we go into another challenging year uh, in our organization where we're trying to um, increase our penetration in the market. Healthcare is tough. There's a lot of changes, and um, we have a dedicated team who needs that energy. And what Scott brought to us um, was really, really exactly what we were looking for. I took this monster swing, and I swung my golf club so fast that my momentum literally carried me right off of my feet and on the ground face first. So there I am looking like a displaced beached whale. And to make matters worse, when I got my head around to my right, I noticed my little white golf ball was still standing firmly on that tee. <laughs> John walks over to me and he goes, Scott, what happened to you? So I told him. He starts to laugh. I said, John, how can you be laughing at that? He said, I'm not laughing at you, Scott. I'm laughing with you. I go, well, how do you mean? He said, do you know how difficult it'll be for me to go home, tell my golfing buddies that a walking quadriplegic, just beat me in a round of golf by two shots. <laughs> but how did I beat John? Same way you can always beat your competition. Focus a little more on your strengths and your weaknesses. And don't be afraid to make adjustments along the way to your swing, your business plan, to get you back on track. Then finally during a round of golf, you have a choice. You can either compete with yourself or you can compete with each other. But we all know at the end of the day that you are your toughest competitor. Today, as a speaker, I've had an opportunity to travel all over the world, work in different countries. And what I continue to learn through this international experience is the strength in creating a global mindset. One that really gets you thinking a little bigger on your own behalf getting God's behalf and those customers that you serve, and how by scaling your efforts, blending cultures and embracing diversity can create unforeseen opportunity that can expand the possibilities. Look, you really don't know what you can achieve in life unless you're willing to put yourself out there, you know, to be vulnerable. As a single man, I was reluctant to attend my 30th high school reunion. Friends enticed me, so I went along. It turned out I had a, an amazing conversation with a very beautiful human being, Kim. It turns out we've known each other's names out of a class of 600 since the eighth grade. I'm happy to report that conversation's continued. She has become the love of my life 
and the moral of that story is this. If you happen to be single, go to your high school reunion. <laughs> Blessman wanted to teach me how to snow ski. Years after being paralyzed from 12,000 feet above sea level, way up in the Rocky Mountains. And we're at the bottom. We both collapse. He goes, look up there, Scott. You see that ridge? There's two little people, they're not trees. There's two little people in that ridge about to come down. That's where you started. He goes, this is amazing how far you've come. He said, I'll, I'll let you know in this secret. He goes, most people who snow ski never venture out the backside of the mountain. But you did. But here's the kicker. 45 minutes down that mountain when you were gasping for air, I was hoping to God that you would quit. You know why? I was just so tired picking you up. <laughs> But then he said, you didn't quit. And I thought to myself, how in the world am I gonna quit in front of you if you're unwilling to quit? Let me ask you this question. I want you to think about it. Who's that blessman in your life stretching you a little further today? And who are you willing to be a blessman to? Thank God, each and every day, for giving me the grit to stand up to life's challenges. And when you find that grit within to stand up to your own life's challenges, it's when you learn, and when you learn, you grow, and when you grow, your vision, mindset, and grit begin to strengthen. You know, I had the good fortune of having Scott Burroughs speak to our sales force five years ago, and his message resonates. You know, the interesting thing is our industry has changed. Everything about what we do has changed, and the message he delivers still resonates today, five years later. The principles of vision, mindset, and grit never go away. They apply personally. They apply professionally. Everybody needs to hear this message. If you now are ready to get out of your own chair, so to speak, and stand up to the challenges and the opportunities that you're experiencing in your life, being part of this family, and perhaps take action in ways that you've never thought about taking action. Now, so you know that I'm not providing any kind of false hope. Six months after being paralyzed, my chest down, I turned a pretty difficult goal into a reality by walking out of Craig Hospital in Denver, Colorado with a pair of form crutches and a wheelchair. Then, it would take me an additional six years of my life, an additional 2,190 days to be able to walk with the simple use of a cane. So what I'm really trying to say is this, if you are looking to thrive, to beat the odds, and achieve extraordinary results in your own lives, don't give up too soon. I just came out of hearing Scott Burroughs and um, i got to catch my breath because it was so powerful. When I see somebody like that with their personal story and demonstration, it just inspires me so much to know that if I can play a little part in raising the consciousness of our society and myself and, and just so that people can understand their true potential and to be their own inspiration and their own leader in their life.